Nerd Soul kind of came to me through a conversation with Isaac, Isaac Phillips. If we were talking about, oh my Isaac, god, <laughs> yeah, wow, all this so is coming up now. I was in a conversation, <laughs> yeah, I was in a conversation with Isaac about like uh, like my channel and stuff, and like the stuff that I was posting up and what I was getting ready to do, and this yeah. and the third. And he was like, man, you know, I really like. You know, I really like your flow. I love how you do, you know, like how you do your content and your conversations. It's just got so much soul in it. Yeah. And once he said that, I was like, ah, got it. There's soul. And that was it. Oh, wow. So that's, for, that's, that's how it was. So for a trivia question, Isaac was the one that gave you the soul thing, right? <laughs> yeah, he said, he said, you know, how you were, he's like, how you do your thing. It just got so much soul in it. And it's cool. And then once he said that, I was like, soul, got it. Soul. <laughs> and that was it. Oh man, that's and, like, so. It, it was like he said he said that, and like I just took it and ran pretty much after that. Yeah. And then, and then that day, that day I sat down, I made the logo, and then I was like, "Cool, this is it. This is this is what it is from now on." And then from there to now, with podcasts, video, music, all that crazy stuff. Yeah. Pretty much, because I mean, it could have been named something else. It could have been like I don't know, uh, I don't know, geek, you know, yeah, geek dude or something. I don't know. Uh, it could have been something else. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure it have been cool because I already took some time. But, yeah. but, but when he said that, it just kind of hit me. And I was just like, where did I? Yeah. It's amazing, man. Because, you know, besides helping me out with my graphics, because you're awesome and you do graphics, you edit, you produce, you know, and you're behind the camera, you're in front of the camera. And you're pretty much a, a Terminator when it comes to everything, man. You you have the whole package, man. And, you know, you do it for passion, you do it for love, and you do it because you love what you love doing. And, um, like, you know, also you have a family as well. Like, and, you know, and we were just talking about that earlier. Like, how do you, you know, I get, you know, we said it together, but I want to ask you recording, like, how do you keep focus and keep track of everything, man, with everything that's going on in your life? Uh, Google Calendar. Um, <laughs> and then just trying to, like, any extra second that I get, try to do something. Yeah. So, like, you know, whether I'm on break or, you know, um, uh, when someone's asleep or I'll get up early or, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'll just figure out ways to try to, like, you know, and like say if I'm, you know, at lunch or if I'm, you know, just after a movie or something, I'll try to, you know, I'll just try to figure out a way to, like, squeeze out, like, five to ten minutes to do something here, do something there, and then, you know, just make some fun stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, like watching, like what was it about, like growing up in VA, you know, Virginia? Um, what, like, you know how I'm saying I grew up in New York City, so like, um, I was always, I always felt like the odd one out because I liked certain things other people didn't like. Like, if I was into cartoons at a later age, everybody grew up past cartoons, but I was still watching cartoons. I was still, I was watching. I was like one of the few dudes in my area watching Buffy and Angel, and nobody really watches that. Like, how did you? They, did you feel like the odd duck when you was in VA or like everybody had the same interests like you had? Um, no, but luckily I had like that one, like one friend that would like hold me down who is also a business partner uh, for a full tank design. Wow. But I had like that one, you know how you have that like one friend that's like, I right, we can watch Akira together. Yeah. We can watch, you know, we can watch Boys in the Hood together. We can watch, you know, you got that one friend. Everybody else kind of thinks you're kind of like either corny or yeah, like, yeah. You, think you, like, you think you're too good for everybody or whatever, whatever it is. But <laughs> it's like that one friend where it's like, yo, I can talk about Star Trek, you know, for an hour with this guy. Or I can talk about Star Wars. Or I can talk about, you know, Justice League with this guy for like the next two, three hours. Yeah. So it's like, that's and. Big shout out to Chris, uh, Chris Baco, uh, you know, amazing producer, awesome artist in his own right. Like, he's the one that, like, whenever I want to talk about like movie stuff, we're, like, we just chilling. Yeah, it's it's always been him. Like, even since we were younger. Wow, well, wow. and 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 this goes way back to VA days, right? This goes way back there. Yeah, he he moved he moved to what we call the old neighborhood. Cause it's like our parents still live there. Like, <laughs> so it's like he moved. He moved to the old neighborhood when I was like in sixth grade. So like, 
Like, he came up, and I was like, oh, snap. Like, at first, like, at first, I was like, oh, man, he whacked. Because yeah. I was drawing, and he could draw. And I was like, Psh, yo, he ain't on my level, son. Yeah. <laughs> but with the sneak, homie was definitely on my level. Wow. Homie was definitely, <laughs> he was definitely killing it. Um, so then we ended up becoming fast friends, just like, talking about, you know, whatever TV show or whatever was on, and, you know, from then, we've been cool ever since, man, like, Chris is that dude, he's been holding me down, uh, he is not only my business partner in a full tank design, but he is also the, uh, fashion designer for Kuro Brand that does a lot of the ads on my shows, so he's, mm-hmm. you know, he's extremely talented, um, he's the producer of one of my tracks on Spotify, like, dude's just, he's, yo, Chris is, like, Chris is dope. Chris is on another level, yo, so he's he's definitely sick. So he's the one, like, whatever I'm, business decisions or something like that, he's definitely someone who I, like, I go to and I'm like, yo, how at a plan. Like, <laughs> like let, let me know if I'm tripping. Am I tripping? Is this a good idea? Is it a bad idea? Whatever. So, yeah, yeah, that, that's my boy. Wow. So it, it's good because, like, you know, growing up there, you had good chemistry with people. And it's funny because, like, we were just talking about Isaac and, like, everything, you know, goes back to, like, friends that you grew up with. And, like, Isaac was somebody you was cool with, you know. And then, you know, it's like, it, it's, it's like you know, how they say, you know, how people say opposites attract, but sometimes they don't. It's like people who have the same interests usually attracts more than opposites, you know. Like, when you have the same interests, like you and Chris, you say you both yeah. like the Kira, you both had that same driven desire to like be in the field where you're at now and look at you now. So it's like, it's crazy how, you know, you, like you say, like, you know, for me, it's like the canon, Like you have that one friend that's like, wow, like you guys click. And then it, it's like, you don't, you don't miss a beat. Like you can talk about anything. And it, even if let's say you was far away or you live distances, like, you know, your interests will always be the same. Right. Yeah. Cause uh, Chris is still in Virginia. Oh, he's still Chris in Virginia. Is in Virginia. Okay. Yeah, so we talk probably daily. Wow. I probably, we talk just about daily. Um, but yeah, like we we were <laughs> we were just clowning some dude that was like he was talking about how um, Disney was going to take over and Netflix, you know, was going to like die or whatever. And we were like, so do you watch Netflix or do you like? He, he was like, I don't watch Netflix. He's like, well, how do you know? You don't, you don't even know, like, you can't speak intelligently on this if you're not even, it's, <laughs> it's like, you're, you're not even informed. Yeah. How can you say what Netflix will or won't do or what Disney will or won't do if you're not even informed? Yeah. But yeah, so we were just, we were just geeking out about that, like, the other day. But yeah, <laughs> it, all the time, man. Uh, all the time, uh, talking, like, either fun stuff, geek stuff, movie stuff, whatever, but yeah. That's the dude that, like, definitely inspires me on, like, all kinds of levels.